Oh, oh, oh nice. Well, what a beautiful way to start the day with a double gopher flip. These are two beautiful gopher snakes, very different in size, um, but excellent to start uh, flipping in Los Angeles County. We're gonna go to a couple flip sites that I know of, and hopefully we'll find some more gophers, maybe some rattlesnakes, a king snake would be the top of the list. So excellent to see two gophers to start the day off. All right, let's see if you can slide back under there. Great. And you were over in this area. And we'll put you, put you right back here. Is there room for you? There we go. Yeah, you can fit. Nice. Oh. <clears throat> nice. One more little snake here. This is another beautiful gopher snake. This one is a lot smaller than the other two and doesn't have a very pretty uh, belly. Sometimes they can be nice and bright yellow. He looks like he's gonna bite at the phone. All right, there he goes. <laughs> yes! What an amazing sight. Look at this beautiful California king snake. Now, this is a very classic pattern with this black and white or yellowish striping. And he is a little, little wiggly, <laughs> but really a beautiful snake, really common to find flipping. If you look closely, he was just wagging his tail. That's a common defense mechanism that, tail, that uh, snakes will make although it's not going to make much noise uh, against my skin. Really cool to see this guy. That is snake number four of the day. Oh, okay. There you go. Bye. Oh, a nice big gopher snake. Well, maybe this one is medium size, but snake number five. Excellent. All right, putting your board back. <gasps> Whoa, ho, 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 ho. that was a cool flip. All right, this was a pretty incredible flip. We have a king snake and a gopher snake. Now, king snakes are known to eat other snakes, so I'm surprised to see these guys next to each other because the king snake could definitely eat this gopher, but they were just sitting there next to each other. But this is a very big king snake, and you can see the coloration is a little bit different. This one has much more sort of yellowish colors, uh, brown and yellow versus that more like black and white that we saw earlier. Excellent to see. Snakes number, what is that, six and seven. Very cool. All right, let's put these guys back and uh, find more. Whoa, this is a great sized gopher snake. <clears throat> that is excellent to see. I'm just gonna let him go back in his burrow. No reason to take him out. Cool. Snake number eight. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, ho, ho. you probably saw it slither down there. That was another gopher snake. Snake number nine for the day. All right, we are so close to getting double digits on snakes today, so I came to a trash pile. I do not like herping at this kind of place. It's just disgusting. It's not good. I don't like seeing it, but <laughs> nine snakes so far, we need to get that 10th, and we're running out of daylight. So we're gonna flip through here and hopefully pick up that 10th snake and finish off the day strong. Oh, look at that. Right, this is beautiful. So you can see right here, there is a little bit of snake shed and I just lifted that little carpet and out popped this guy. Here is the shed that we just saw. This is definitely from the same snake and you can see his bold blotches are just so well defined. He probably just shedded within the last couple days, uh, which is why he is looking so pretty. Um, some lovely yellows underneath. This was an excellent, excellent snake for my 10th of the day. Yes. All right, we're gonna put you back. Bye, fella. Oh, look at 
at that. We've got a lovely little Encetina. This is a Monterey Encetina. You can see no yellow in the eye. The yellow eyes are, are pretty far away from Southern California. Uh, it's cool. These guys are somewhat difficult to, to find uh, out here. So it's nice to see that, uh, that they're here. Anyway, we're gonna put his piece of cover back and move on. Oh, another snake, another snake. I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh, oh. Ta-da! Look at this beautiful gopher. He has a, he almost has like a spotted jaguar pattern to him. Oh, did he just make a sound? So gopher snakes are known to hiss. I thought he did for a second. I don't hear him anymore, but he was rattling his tail on my finger. So anyway, that is snake number 11. Bye-bye. Let's see if we can find more. Oh, there's a little tail. Nice. One more gopher snake. Well, another lovely gopher. Let's get him back as well. Bye. You're number 12. Oh, 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 oh. I see a hidden gopher snake right there. Oh, nice. Look at that. Well, as much as I don't like this uh, trash site, it is definitely producing some good results. That is our fourth gopher just in the last, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes. Nice. Oh, there we go. All right, right in here, one more gopher. That is our 14th snake of the day. We are doing really well. Excellent, let me put his, take him out. Boom, put the board back, boom. And then, oh, he's hissing. I don't know if you can hear that, but they hiss, it's just a bluff. And now, here. Uh, He's doing it again. Yeah, there he goes. All right, hop on back under. Go back under your board. No, how about, how about over here? You like it there? There we go. Yeah, don't hiss at me. There you go, right back. Well, today definitely felt like the day of the gopher snake. We had 12 of them, which is incredible. And plus those two beautiful California king snakes to make a total of 14 snakes a day. What a success. If you like this kind of content, please remember to like and subscribe. I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History, and I'll see you in the field.